In this video, we're going to do a little bit of a demonstration about finding inputs and outputs with a graphing calculator. And we're going to use the function 3x to the 4th minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 1. And let's find the following. f of 3, f of 10, f of x equals 15, and f of x equals negative 15. First thing we're going to do is go to our y equals and enter our function, which is 3x squared to the fourth, so we'll use a carrot, minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 1. And we'll use this the whole time. And the first thing we want to find is f of 3 and f of 10. I'll show you two ways to find an output given an input. First, it can be done from the graph. So we go to our graph, and there's our plot. And one option for calculating f of 3 is second calculate value at 3, and enter, and we see that we have an output of 206. It's also in this table over here. That would be the second way. The way we can use the table to get any outputs given inputs, and this is particularly useful if you have more than one input you need to put in, go to second table set and change independent from auto to ask. And so now, notice that it cleared out my table. When I go to my table view, I can now enter any input and I'll get the output. So 3 gives me 206. 10 gives me an output of 29,529. And so that's a real quick way of entering multiple inputs to get outputs. Now let's talk about doing the second two. f of x equals 15. Now we're looking for an input given an output. Technique is a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the graph and have it put in a line everywhere where the output is 15. Now also, if I go to my graph right now, I'm going to see that I don't see my line. If we look at the graph down here, that's because the graph only is going up to 10. So, bare minimum, I have to increase my y max. Let's increase it up to 20 and go back to our graph. Now, when our graph is drawn, we're going to see a horizontal line come through every place that the output is 15. What we need are the two intersection points. So we're going to do second, calculate, number 5 is intersect, and now we're going to move the cursor towards the intersect point that we want. So first let's do this one on the left. First curve, second curve, hit enter, guess, hit enter, and there's our value, negative 1.910725. Now we'll calculate the other one. Second so calculate. Intersect again is 5. And we'll go over to the other side and get close to that intersection point. And that's plenty close enough. Enter, enter, enter. And the other answer is 1.7064889. So that's how we can find an input given an output. We graph the output and the input together to find where they intersect. Last, we had to find where the output is negative 15. We go back to our y equals. Let's change that positive 15 to a negative 15. And just like we had to change the window before, we're going to have to change it again. Let's make sure it goes down to negative 20 and we graph and we'll get our function and then our line at negative 15 now we see that there's no intersection what that tells us is negative 15 is not in the range of this function if they don't intersect there is no x that gives us an output of negative 15